Hey you guys, this is Nathan. Welcome back to another tutorial where today we are looking at gaps and lines and how to remove more objects in Photoscape X. Now, we're gonna hop right into the editor here and look at this image that was submitted by a subscriber or someone down in the comments and they said, hey, I wanna get a hold of you and he sent me over this image and he wants to know how to get rid of this terrible gap between the door and the side panel of this car. So we're gonna do that today and it's gonna be using a, a couple different tools. Yes, this is gonna be completely free. You don't have to have the pro version of Photoscape X to make this edit, but sometimes it can be helpful. So let's look at this here. We zoom in close here. It's not the highest quality image, but we can see that the gap there is just really large. Um, you know, maybe the door wasn't fully closed. Maybe that's how it's supposed to look, but it doesn't really look like how it should. So we're gonna to try to remove it. Uh, but he also wants to kind of make it still look natural where it would still have that kind of a feel to um, where there still might be some kind of a gap. So uh, let me show you the quick option. If you have the pro version, you can go over here to tools and in tools, you're able to go down to the clone stamp. This is going to be really helpful. You have this zoomed in, you'll be able to take and select a part of the image and then paste that over the part where there's the gap. And as long as the colors match up fairly well, you should be doing okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that our brush size isn't too big. Um, yeah, we're gonna need that harshness, uh, maybe not as high and the strength not as high. You can mess around how you'd like. So I'm gonna click here, kind of right here on the line, drag it over here where I feel the line should really be. Click that, drag up and drag down. Go all the way up here. Kind of just going around here, see how that goes. All right. Mm, let's see, let's undo that last little bit there. Maybe I'll hop over here to the spot heel tool. Just trying to make that line not look as bad. Now look at this kind of change that we've already made here to the image. So we go to the original, we had that big line, now it's very minimal. And if we were to zoom in or we were to do more, we could make it completely erased. But that really did change the image really quickly. Now that's you know really nice that we were able to do that, but maybe you look at that and you're like, wait a minute, hold on. What if I wanted to have more control over how much of a gap or how little of a gap I want? Maybe I want to know another way to do it where it would be using totally the free uh, version of Photoscape X because uh, Clone Stamp is one of those pro features. So the free way to do this is, let's just go back to the beginning. We have this. The free way is to go to the cutout tool. And this is a tip that I kind of had to formulate it on my own as I was thinking through how this works, uh, how I could make it work. So what you do is you drop this image in. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to cut out the side panel so that then afterwards we can go and we can slide it back over the part that's uh, uh, the gap that we're trying to cover up. And we can move that uh, slab that we've cut out over a little bit or a lot. It just depends on what you're wanting to do there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to hit the lasso tool. We're just going to circle this side of the panel and we're going to go down to invert mask, so we're just working with this section of the image. Uh, if you wanna know exactly where the where it is, um, you could always uh, not trim, uh, let's see, uh, not trim it, and then you can still see where the entire image is, so like I can undo and show that, and it'll still stay there. I usually allow trimming, so zooming in, what we're gonna do is we're just going to the side panel. So we're gonna to go to brush, and this is just gonna to continue to erase. And erase that, and we're gonna come down here and erase this. Okay, so we got that erased. Now the tough part is we're gonna to have to erase the line because we don't want the line in the final edit. Okay, so we got that taken care of there. Now we're, uh, unfortunately, Photoscape X sometimes does not allow you to zoom in, you know, even further. And I, I wish it would. Right here is a moment where I wish it would let me do more than 400. Is it possible to go over 400? Like, can I type this in? And unfortunately, no. I wish I could. But what we're going to do is remove that black line 
we can use different things but I think the magic eraser might be the easiest way so we're gonna select that dark color and we're gonna have to change the tolerance around here to a pretty low amount of tolerance because what we're looking for is just to erase er, that's too much too just to erase that line okay I think we did okay there we're gonna go back to the brush and we're going to erase out everything in here okay I think we got that pretty good now the question is how much of this back side panel do we want to remove well one thing that's really nice that I learned in Photoscape X today as I was messing around I was like okay what do I do here you can actually go into the save well not save I guess uh, there's more button here on the bottom right you're able to hit copy to clipboard and you were able to copy just that section copy that straight over into clipboard all right so we got that copied over to clipboard i can go back to the editor to the image go over here navigate over to insert i can right click and i can hit paste and it will paste that part that piece that we were just messing with back into the image even though we didn't have to go out and save out the image and all this different stuff it saves so much time and it's really going to make it a lot easier in the future to mess with but basically, I can go and line this up right where it needs to be, as you can see, lining it up, and I can have it go and cover over by a little bit or a lot. So there's that if it's covering just a little, or I can have it cover basically the entire thing. And if there's ever a part where I'm like, oh man, it didn't you know, cover a certain amount, or oh, there's still a little black left in here, or a color that I'm not looking for, I can go back and I can still adjust that. I can still make those little adjustments and changes to see, oh yeah, I need to cut out a little bit more. But I'm able to slide this over and get exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm just super thrilled with the end result there. Uh, so let me go through here and we're going to remove a bit more of the, uh, of the panel. This is a good chunk more. I'm gonna go over here, hit the copy to clipboard again. We're going to go over here, remove this old one. We're going to go and paste in uh, the new one. So hitting paste, get that new side panel back in here, drop it in. Um, and actually, <laughs> I got the shadow of the, the mirror here. So let's go back again. And we're going to remove that because we don't want that in there. So we're going to remove that. And then we're going to hit the copy again. You know, it's really helpful just so you don't have to be saving all of these out. And I just, I don't see why I didn't learn this sooner uh, or notice it sooner in Photoscape. So you go, hover it over, and you can make it have no side panel, or you can slide it over where it can have a little bit of a side panel. Um, it kind of just depends on what you're wanting to do there. I can definitely see that where one of those side panels in the original where I still kind of was going right along that cut line there. I think that was actually probably the best one because I could, it followed the gap line a lot better. So I can just make a slight uh, gap or something like that. Um, but nonetheless, if you guys are looking to make some slight edits or changes to an image where there's a gap, I think that's probably your best option to cut out the side panels or to use that clone stamp and that heel tool to be able to make those different adjustments a reality. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I uh, kind of sat on this question for a little while because I didn't really know how to do it. Plus I was really busy with other things. But you guys, I hope that was helpful and helps to teach you maybe another trick that you, or tip that you haven't uh, seen in Photoscape X or photo editing before. But yes, that's how I would remove a gap in a car. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.